All the way over to the end. Road! Dan! Hut! At ease. Good afternoon. My name is Captain Martin. I'd like to start off by saying that it's an honor to be in this house here today. To all the friends and family members that are here, thank you for being here. All of your support for your service members is absolutely huge. And it will continue to be as they move ahead in their careers for however long that might be. And you all are every bit as much a part of the military family as they are now. So again, thank you very much for taking the time to be here. Okay, applicants, a couple of administrative things to go over before we start with the actual oath. First, does anyone have any doubts or reservations about joining the military? No, no sir! Okay, you've all been briefed on three articles of the UTMJ, Article 83, 85, 86. So acknowledge check. What is Article 83? Fraudulent enlistment! During the oath, you'll have a couple of options. At the beginning, I'll ask you to say, do you solemnly swear? If you choose to make an affirmation, you can replace the word swear with the word affirm. And if you do make an affirmation, you can then omit the phrase to help you out at the end of the oath. Does that make sense? Yes, yes sir. sir! Any questions? No, no sir! Okay, you ready? Yes, yes sir! Applicants, attend. Woo! Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your full name. I, state your full name. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I will obey the orders. That I will obey the orders. Of the President of the United States. Of the President of the United States. And the orders. And, and the orders. The officers appointed over me. And the officers appointed over me. According to regulations. According to regulations. And the uniform code of military justice. And the uniform code of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. Lower your hands. At ease. Okay. Congratulations. And thank you. The commitment that each of you just made is one that fewer than 1% of all Americans make. And continuing to have citizens like yourselves voluntarily make that commitment is absolutely critical to the continued defense of the values that we hold here in this nation. You will have some challenges ahead of you, but I guarantee you that if you dedicate yourselves fully to the job and take full advantage of all the educational and leadership opportunities that will be afforded to you, you will come out a better person and a better citizen. Regardless of whether you only spend four years in the military or 40 years. So again, thank you for your commitment and good luck. Now, are there any questions for me whatsoever? No, no sir. sir! Okay. Applicants, attend. Woo!